Love your body, love your soul, love your baby, you gotta know, you know you, you drive me crazy, you know that I want you as my lady. Well, I'm so, so sad, cause I just finished Insecure and first of all, the episode is only 30 minutes, like how you just gonna make it 30 minutes, that's nothing. I'm so hurt but anyways y'all didn't click on this video to hear about how empty I'm feeling right now y'all clicked on this video because y'all want to know if this hair in my head is worth the buy and let me tell y'all it is so I purchased this hair with my own money so y'all best believe that this review is about to be as honest as can get because um, I'm not gonna lie when it comes to my money. And I purchased this from the actual site. A lot of people too, they got theirs from AliExpress and that might be a reason why they had some issues with their hair too. But y'all, I bought this from the website. And let me tell y'all, I love it. I don't even honestly have nothing bad to say about this, but I'm just throw out some pros and cons. So some cons, I really can't think of much bad to say about it. Um, one thing I would say is, like, I don't know how to explain it, but it kind of reminds me of split ends, but it's not split ends. But I think that the hair just isn't all the same size, so you see a lot of, like, pieces just sticking out kind of as if it were split ends. Like, that's what it reminds me of, but I don't think it's split ends because the strands that are sticking out, they don't split. Like, it doesn't... Like y'all know how split in looks. So I think, I don't know if they just, of course, tried to do it as like a filler type thing where they just, you know, put pieces of hair that were short and that's why it's a bunch of little pieces sticking out. Like, I don't think y'all can see it. Yeah, I don't think it's showing in the camera, but um, that was one of the things that did annoy me. Not too much with the hair because you can't even really tell unless you're looking up close to the hair which I can see it here yeah, but that's me reaching for some cons oh I guess one other thing uh, would be I bought it as a body wave but the natural body wave that it has is poofy and frizzy so I didn't want to wear it at all as, as the body wave that I bought it in so every time I've worn it I've straightened it not like every single time I put it on I have to straighten it but um, this is actually only my second time straightening this hair, but what I mean is I've only ever worn it straight. I don't wear it at night and I don't um, sew it in. Like I take it off every time that I wear it. I take it off and I put it on a mannequin head. And I think that's another issue that people have is that they don't keep up with their hair. Like um, you have to maintain your hair to keep it looking good, especially when you're buying hair of a lesser price you know if you have expensive hair you know that's going to be better quality so the less you're probably going to have to do to it but when you're buying cheaper hair of course it's going to take a lot more maintenance to keep up with so going ahead and getting into the pros of this hair because that's really all i have it's really soft it's nice um it's a little bit stiffer than when i first got it and i think that's because this time when i straightened it I did put a little bit of oil, so that's probably why it's not as flowy. I mean, it's still got, got some movement, but this is three bundles in a closure, and all the bundles were 18 inches, and I didn't even use all of my third bundle, and like, if I tried to put this hair in a ponytail, like, it's, it's really thick, so, um, the bundles are thick. It wasn't being stingy with the hair, y'all. The bundles are a really good amount. The hair didn't smell. I actually like the smell. I don't know what other people have to say about it, but I actually like the smell. It kind of smells like whatever they use to wash it with. That's what it smells like to me, some kind of shampoo. Um, so the smell was good. The packaging was nice. It came in a little box. And then the bundles each came in its own little separate baggies and on the bag it'll actually tell you what the inches were um and it also came with some eyelashes i have a box for that um i don't have them in now and i hadn't worn them yet i was thinking about wearing them for this video but i ended up not putting them um in so they're sitting um somewhere over there 
it doesn't tangle out like a lot of people say they have issues with the back tangling but i don't i don't have the issue and again i think that's just upkeep of your hair um like when i go out i'll make sure to bring a comb so that way when i get in my car i can just comb my hair out like i'm constantly combing my hair like i'm not gonna bring it in the store with me or whenever i get a chance to comb it i'm gonna comb it um so that's probably why i still haven't experienced any tangling i've yet to have that problem and i've worn this wig out a good bit of times now i ain't do nothing extreme like for when i went clubbing now it probably would tangle in but um no i i haven't experienced any tangling shedding i mean shedding is not anything i really worry about unless i'm getting like handfuls but if i run my finger in and i got like one or two pieces every time i put it on i'm not gonna trip y'all and it's been five months and it's still looking like this it's definitely worth it um my biggest thing is just make sure that you are maintaining your hair like make sure that you're combing it out when you take it off make sure you comb it throughout the day that you're wearing it make sure that you're combing it or at least finger um, the tangling, tangling it like I don't know if I'll try with my hands stay in my hair no matter what so I'm always so consciously finger combing detangling my hair I got a bunch of bad stories with some little beauty supply wigs that I had that I threw in the bag at this other wig Kim was her name do y'all be naming y'all wigs I do I didn't name this one but my very first wig i named it her name was kim we had some very good memories y'all i miss kim anyways may she rest in peace but yeah y'all i went clubbing with kim mm. she looked like she had a good time by the end of the night i'm just saying but but yeah, um, just make sure that you're maintaining your hair. If you're looking for long-lasting cheap hair, this is definitely the route. Because I've seen people paying 400 some dollars for some hair. And I just, y'all, I, I ain't made it to that level yet. I can't be spending that much on some hair. I hope you guys got enough out of this video to decide whether or not you want to purchase this hair. Um, all I can give y'all is my opinion. And in my opinion, it is definitely worth the coins y'all so this pretty much all i have to say about the hair is definitely worth it in my opinion so um make sure you get it from the website is all i can say and make sure that you're maintaining the hair but that's all i have for you guys if you like this video and it was helpful please like and subscribe thank you guys for watching